Finally, when I asked Joel uh, what he would like his event to be, uh, he was not so eager to talk about it. But after asking for several times, he finally said that he wants the title of his talk to be Umitalmidai Yoter Mikulam, and from my students more than anyone, from Tanit. And I wondered to myself, after reading everyone's notes and messages in the book, what is the shared link everyone talked about? I found a consensus, which I can summarize as from my mentor most of all. So I would like to invite Professor Joel Walters, our colleague, mentor, teacher, friend, and exceptional person. How do I get to my uh, slides? I have, I have 10 slides. Uh, I will, uh, nine of them are to try to compete with the gratitude uh, that you've given to me. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to shorten some of, uh, some of the, uh, I have a narrative, which you probably expected to hear. How could I talk at a conference in the last 10 years without telling a story? Uh, and I have, uh, and, uh, and uh, most of the slides are to do uh, what uh, Professor Rabbi Shapps uh, said I don't do, which is to combine uh, uh, two aspects of Bar Ilan, and uh, I'm going to try to do that in one slide, see if that works. Okay, so how do I move things along? Just, just move press them. enter? Yeah, just move enter. Just okay. Yes. okay, so here's the story. Uh, it's a story about uh, uh, a father-in-law named Kalba Savua and uh, his daughter Rachel, and he didn't want his daughter to marry uh, uh, an illiterate named Rabbi, uh, named Akiva, uh, and so uh, he uh, made a vow that uh, he would have no nothing to do with it, uh, and uh, he vowed that she wasn't to get any benefit from uh, all of his property, and he was uh, a very wealthy man. Uh, <coughs> to make a long story short, and, uh, I will do that. I was actually going to do some of this in Hebrew, but uh, I think it's better for our uh, guests who are uh, not, not literate in that language uh, if I do it in English. In any case, uh, 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 Rachel, the daughter, was uh, uh, so committed to this marriage, uh, but she wanted him to become literate, so uh, she sent him away uh, to study for 12 years. Uh, at the end of this period, when he was coming home, uh, uh, when from the back of the house he heard a wicked man jeering, uh, actually he went away twice. Uh, 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 he heard a wicked man at the back of the house uh, jeering his wife, your father did well to you, first because he's an, you're inferior, and second, he abandoned you to living widowhood all of these years. And she replied, yet were he here to hear my desires, if he heard me, uh, he would absent himself for another 12 years. Seeing that she has thus given me permission, he said he goes back. So he went back. 24 years uh, 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 he went away. He went back and he was absent for another 12 years. And at the end of the journey, he returned with 24,000 students. Uh, uh, everyone flocked to welcome him. It was a big, uh, uh, a big event. And... Uh, and coming up to the punchline of the story. But uh, uh, there's another uh, uh, wicked man that comes and says, and where do you think you're going? She went out to uh, greet him, uh, and then he quotes something from Proverbs. Uh, she quotes something from Proverbs, a righteous man know the life of his beast. I don't want to talk about that because the main point is coming. So she went to see him, to see uh, uh, Rabbi Akiva, but the disciples were uh, uh, pushing her away. She was uh, poor, she was uh, uh, dressed in rags, and Rabbi Akiva says, make way for her. Uh, Rabbi Akiva told them, for my learning and yours are all, they all belong to her. Uh, they're, they're because of her. Amar lahon, ani chula shali v'shalachem shalahu, they all belong to her. And then uh, the end of the story is, uh, uh, Kalba Shavua, Shavua, uh, he asked for his vow to uh, uh, be uh, annulled, and uh, they all live happily ever after. Uh, uh, all of this gratitude belongs to my wife.
Leia. Uh, everyone knows the. the <laughs> every, everyone knows uh, what uh, she did to make all this possible, and uh, that's the beginning of gratitude. Okay. Now I want to talk about uh, a. Uh, I, I had to think of what's the speech act uh, that's going on here. Everyone is thanking, thanking. So I went to some sources, and it turns out. Uh, in the Dafyomi, uh, we are reading. Uh, we learn. We're learning uh, uh, something that doesn't have a lot to do with day-to-day -day activities, but there's something called a korban toda, a Thanksgiving offering. Uh, and these are what. Uh, this is what the Torah says. Uh, this is the law of sacrifices, and it's part of what's called shlamim. Uh, uh, and uh, I'll just give a summary in this slide of what some of the laws are in this korban toda. It's a different kind of uh, 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 sacrifice uh, because there's a tremendous, tremendous amount to eat. You, uh, uh, you have 40 loaves, 30 of them are matzah, and uh, uh, 10 are made out of bread, but you only get a short time to eat. Most sacrifices you get two days and the night between. This you only get one day and have to finish it by midnight. What possibly could uh, uh, the Torah be telling us to uh, uh, what kind of, uh, uh, if this is gratitude, you, uh, the guy is bringing a, a, a sacrifice to uh, say thanks to God, and, and, and you force him to uh, stuff his stomach, uh, and not only that, it's one of the, uh, I think it's the only uh, sacrifice that contains uh, uh, chametz, all the rest of them are, are, are without leavening. It's, it's also the only one that's going to last into the future. Uh, so, uh, I looked through some sources, and uh, without going into a lot of detail, because I know it's late, uh, there are two uh, issues that, that I take out of this. First of all, that gratitude has to be personal, and in this case, it has to be public. In terms of personal, you can't send a shaliach, an agent, to say thank you to someone else. You have to do it. Uh, in, in Tehillim, in the Psalms, lecha ezbach, the, uh, uh, the person saying this in Hallel, it, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very personal statement. Secondly, uh, they have to be public. Nederai l'Hashem uh, al-Shalem, negdala l'cholamo, has to be uh, 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 not only in the chatzro, uh, uh, in the uh, courtyards of, uh, of Hashem, has to be in uh, all of Yushalayim. Why should it have to be public? Uh, <clears throat> and when I was thinking uh, from some of the things, uh, uh, first of all, uh, in terms of uh, the amount that, they have to, that, that you have to eat, it uh, uh, has to be abundant. Uh, uh, when uh, it basically, you can't do it alone. You have to invite people. The only way you're going to finish 40 loaves is to be able, is to invite lots of people. So it has to be shared. Uh, it also has to be active, uh, and it also uh, creates a tremendous sense of humility. I am uh, uh, painfully humbled by everything here, uh, and uh, I hope it makes me a better person. Uh, let's just see. Uh, no, I think we skipped these slides. Okay, so th that's my Devar Torah. Uh, obviously, uh, from all of my colleagues and my students, I learned more. Here's the science part of the uh, uh, talk. <coughs> uh, two unexpected discoveries and what I want to do when I grow up. Uh, uh, the two unexpected discoveries, uh, for one of our tasks, we took a common neuropsychological task and we asked children to name the days of the week. Uh, and some of them, uh, I, I'm translating, okay? Some of the children named the days, these are Russian, Hebrew, uh, uh, incipient bilinguals. Some of the children named the days uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. Uh, uh, other children named them Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And, and it, that was a, uh, a, a subtle indicator of how integrated they were into the language and in the culture. That was one thing that, uh, uh, that we learned. Uh, another thing that was unexpected, we, ha I had, we had some interviews on narratives from uh, 
uh, Russian adolescents, and uh, this one uh, 17-year-old uh, in one of the uh, interviews introduced herself as Tanya from St. Petersburg. I hope I got the, the, the match right between their names. A more uh, informal name, uh, and uh, Tatiana from Leningrad. Maybe it switched. In any case, because uh, 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 Tatiana is the more formal name, and so that really should go. Uh, no, it was the older school. In any case, uh, uh, we looked at these contrasts. Contrasts, uh, and these were two things that we really didn't expect, and I love looking for things that uh, are, are, are not expected. I, I, I don't like reading articles where everything is all uh, cut uh, from the beginning to the end. Now, uh, uh, the, this is what I want to do when I grow up, okay? Uh, uh, there's a theory from an, a paper that was written in 1972. I went to look up the paper. It's had more than 11,000 citations, which is uh, quite a lot. A uh, theory by uh, Craik and Lockhart. Uh, Fergus Craik is a psychologist in Toronto, works on many different issues, including aging and other things. And basically, uh, uh, they had a task where they presented sentences and asked for uh, uh, people to not only comprehend them, but in the middle of the sentence, they had to uh, count the uh, number of S sounds. And uh, levels of processing, to make a long story short, is uh, a, uh, 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 the, the phonetic or orthographic or, or the uh, 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 even morphological information is considered to be a more surface-oriented uh, surface uh, aspect of processing, and semantic and pragmatic information is a, a level of processing. And then I worked for a long time uh, uh, with, uh, on, on information integration theory and functional measurement, and here's my idea for when, when I grow up. Uh, in prayer, uh, prayer is a complex activity. Complex, uh, uh, prayer involves both articulation and meaning. You have to pay attention to the words, and you have to pronounce them uh, uh, accurately. So that's a, a natural integrative task. Uh, and uh, I don't have any imaging equipment, but uh, I've talked about this a long time. I throw it out. Uh, if I don't grow up into this uh, topic, I would like to be able to look at people. There are also some, uh, uh, how should I put it, uh, uh, commercial uh, uh, possibilities here. Because if a person can have a monitor uh, on their brain or uh, somewhere, and to know when they're focused on the text for, in terms of meaning or in terms of pronunciation and have that integration, then uh, that's one thing. And the other thing is on accent and identity. Uh, that's another topic that I've been interested in. I think my accent in Hebrew uh, is uh, not native, never will be native, because somewhere inside, I'm holding back uh, from wanting to fully integrate. Those are the two things. I want to end, or almost end, uh, with a note uh, that's already been mentioned, that uh, really at this conference, not just today, but also uh, tomorrow and the next day, uh, we're sad that we don't have Jonathan with us. Uh, really, it should have been a duo. Uh, uh, and. Uh, Two other people, Miriam Schlesinger uh, was my student, but I was really her student. Uh, she uh, uh, was an amazing uh, uh, scholar, individual, and, uh, and uh, her memory is, uh, 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 should be uh, uh, blessed for her family and everyone. Uh, and Amal Kadri was a student in our department, and she was tragic. She also worked at uh, Hadassah College and uh, she wrote a dissertation on early uh, child language acquisition in Arabic, and she was tragically killed in a uh, road accident. And all these three people are uh, deep in our, our memories and were influenced by them, no less than all those uh, words of gratitude uh, go to them as well. Uh, uh, now, leftovers. No, now. I want to end by, by saying thank you, uh, uh, especially, I mean, uh, this was supposed to be uh, an entire surprise, 
uh, Karmit realized at one time that the word uh, uh, Baoshan, which is the word for uh, 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 linguist in Hebrew, also has uh, a little word in it called Balash. And, and I'm a uh, tremendous detective, as all of my kids will attest. Uh, I know things that uh, I'm not even sure uh, they know uh, about them. And, and, and uh, so Karmit and Sharon, at one point Karmit had to reveal some of the uh, uh, details, uh, but uh, it was uh, Karmit and Sharon, and uh, uh, I'm sure with many other people here, I was told not to not to name any uh, any uh, anyone else and and and, and Jana uh, and I I uh, uh, I would like to be able to respond to every single one of the talks that was before Lorraine's talk. Uh, I know a lot of people came from long distances and and uh, or changed uh, plans to be here. Uh, I also want to uh, uh, bless Antonella uh, for bringing bilingual matters. To the uh, uh, to uh, Barilan University and to the department, and uh, uh, bless Eleanor uh, both for all of our uh, train rides. I miss them uh, dearly, uh, and would gladly give them up uh, for the drive from uh, Malo Tarshith to Yerushalayim. Uh, so, thank you very much for coming, and uh, thank you very much for being so grateful. I am uh, at least as grateful as you are. So it's time to conclude the speeches and move to some refreshments. I would like to say on behalf of everyone here, thank you, Joel, for being a part of our lives. We wish you, Joel, a healthy, prosperous, personal and academic life with excitement, besot, vot with Leah and the children, Admea Vesrim. And we would like to thank you all for coming from near and far to join us to honor Joel. And one more, pers one more personal note. I had the whole speech for you, in Hebrew, by the way, to tell about the three things I've learned from Joel. This was a slide that I said, just go through them. So the only thing I want to say now is just thank you so much in public, because I've written my words as well, but I can give them to you hidden. But so thank you so much in public. But also thank you, Kamit, for getting us through this wonderful evening. And Jana, for your share. It was a very emotional event for me. The whole preparations were. Uh, I see Irit here back, so we can now tell Irit we've, we've thanked Racheli and Hannah and, and you, Elion, and then we give them this class. So tell them, because we thank them all. We want to, and then we just went out. So thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you thank you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we're continuing tomorrow and the day after tomorrow with wonderful, wonderful program. All the things that Joel has been doing is connected to what we're going to show you over these days. But till then, Go outside, eat, rest well at night, and come refreshed tomorrow morning. Thank you.